y'all it's y'all favorite right here back at it again with a brand new video as y'all tell the title i am going to be doing another girl talk for y'all this girl talk is going to be one of the ultimate girl talks that i ever did and when i mean my ultimate it's going to be one of the biggest girl talks i did and i say this because i'm going to be talking about like really almost every topic that well not really every topic but almost basically the main topics that are spoken in within girl talk so i kind of asked y'all what topics y'all wanted me to speak on and i have all the topics wrote down make sure you guys like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be a part of hashtag k babies because we is lit right here and you must definitely do not want to miss out so let's just hop straight into this video because these are some things and some important things that you must definitely need to hear y'all see me glowing bro like but that's besides the point before i really get into the talking i know it's some boys on my channel or whatever this is a girl talking and a boy talk so if you're a boy you can most definitely peace out so if you're a girl you can most definitely stay the first topic is how to study yourself and by the way this video is going to be in timestamps, so you can go to whatever topic you really need first but it don't matter so to study yourself is one of it's not really the easiest things but not one of the hard things kind of like right there in the middle i always say to myself but a lot of y'all don't seem to say to yourself one of the best things to do to say yourself is not to listen to what others think because once you stop caring what others think about you then you're like 100 percent a baddie um love yourself always like if there's nobody that's going to love you out here like your parent of course your parents love you and everybody else but the person to really really love yourself is yourself don't let nobody like tell you what to do because you listening you letting these people tell you what to do and what to do with yourself is not good for you to be honest because if you really want to learn how to study yourself you can't let these people tell you like what to do basically controlling you to do something that you don't want to do so yeah just think about yourself and yourself only don't compare yourself to these other females because they're nothing like you you want to be better for yourself you don't want to be better for someone else so yeah that's basically what i'm saying yourself do not compare yourself to these other females because there's really no point in doing that when each female is different nobody's the same so there should not be no comparing none of that well next topic is how to avoid bullying and i don't really call things bullying i would say talking about someone but it's the same thing as bullying i know a lot of people talk about me and the first thing i do is just don't listen to them so the first thing y'all should do is just not listen to them like if somebody's talking about you don't listen to them do not let those words get into your head because they're just bored they just want to mess with you for exactly what reason none but if you're like seriously getting bullied like you can be cyber bullied like bullying online or bullied in school you want to make sure you tell someone because you don't want to keep like all that that someone's saying to you and if it's really hurting you don't be ashamed of yourself just go ahead and tell somebody because you keeping that all into yourself like i was taught to let somebody know so you won't have like a mental breakdown or anything like that because you don't want to have that i promise you that's not one of the best things ever you will pull it out on the wrong person i promise you but to let y'all know these bullies people that bully you bully because they're hurt themselves or they're just bored of something it'll be like people you don't even know that just be talking about you for no reason but i don't know why bullying even exists but it does so you want to have self-confidence so yeah just let them think whatever they want to think and this is one of the things that i said to myself is like if somebody especially if somebody's like spreading rumors about you or they're saying stuff about you or they think you this or that well don't listen to them because how they finna tell you who you are you don't know nothing about me sometimes it can be your own friend like you don't know all about me so why are you telling me like what i didn't do you know what i'm saying like i really dislike people say stuff about me like did it come out of my mouth no did i say it no so if it hasn't came out from my personal mouth nobody else if it hasn't came from me if it wasn't like sent by me then i didn't say it at all so that's nothing to worry about because at this point you just have to think like nobody can tell me what i do or say or thing none of that okay so the next topic is something that kind of got me feeling like oh because a lot of y'all i don't know y'all go through this and i know people myself that go through this i wouldn't say i personally went through this because that's just a little bit too much but depression and like suicidal thoughts and all that type of stuff so when somebody told me this i was like i have to talk about this depression is nothing to play about a lot of people make jokes about it when it's not a joke like people really out here ending their lives for things people say out of their mouths like um people don't die from like knives or like things that can cut you people die well people 
kill themselves mainly from things that come out of somebody else's mouth so your mouth is most definitely a weapon to someone learn how to use it people's out there but i'm telling you if you're going through depression if you're diagnosed with depression i'm letting you know that you'll most definitely get through this like it's really nothing to play about and you should like just learn to be happy because i feel like you being sad all the freaking time it's just gonna mess you up and little things do matter but you want to you don't want to be sad 24 7 7 days a week no every single day every time of the day you do not want to be sad i promise you you do not want to be sad from experience like you do not want to be sad like i would not say i've been through depression but there's times where i've been sad and i hold everything in you need to talk to someone and i'm gonna let you know if you need to cry go ahead and cry crying is not for the weak it's not for the strongest person everyone cries like i really dislike when people say when you cry it makes you seem weak go ahead and cry if you need to cry let it out and it's also okay to feel like it's the end of the world because i know most of us thought that it's just the end of the world for us i don't want to do it no more i quit i don't want to do anything but it's really okay to feel that but you don't want to think about that all the time like i know there's thoughts of like oh my gosh it's just the end for me i can't do it anymore but yes it's okay to think that it's normal for everybody but you really want to get back up on your two feet and go ahead and live life to your fullest because no day is promised for you so you just want to live life to your fullest until that day comes for you so that's what i'm saying like every second counts you don't want to be sad all the time and you don't want to think about killing yourself as well because god has a plan for you if you believe in god then you understand god has a plan for you so you don't want to take your life before you're really supposed to die you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of young kids mainly girls that just cut it and it's just done and it's sad because the reason why there's a lot of suicides and all that is because of things that come out of someone's mouth so watch what y'all say because a lot of people are very sensitive and a lot of people just can't handle the things y'all say even though y'all just be playing just don't play like that but just do not think of dying just live your life to your fullest because i believe and everyone else that loves you believe that you can do it okay so the next thing was trust issues how to trust someone how to build trust with someone so this really can fall under relationships category, but it can be any type of relationships, like from your parents, family, and friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, to trust somebody, like I'm telling you, like how I would trust somebody. What I would do, of course, try to build your trust. I would try to build my trust first with the person. So you do not want to rush anything with nobody. Just take your time as long as you can. And if somebody is rushing you then you don't even have to trust them no more but you want to make sure you're taking your time you don't not want to rush anything and think before you act because a lot of people just be talking so much and you just don't know where what you just said could go you know what i'm saying like a lot of people just talk about their feelings they talk about their whole life situations to the wrong person and the wrong things just go out mm -mm. i hate to see it but it's true so yes think before you act quickly um you want to learn how to communicate with others because if you're not knowing how to communicate how will you be able to trust someone and you want to acknowledge your feelings as well um some ways you will know if the person that you're with or the person you're friends with you can trust is if they're respecting your boundaries they show compassion humility and they're showing gratitude and many more but from those type of things i just named if they're showing you that then you must definitely trust them and you want to also make sure they can trust you as well so y'all can be on the same page okay so next thing I got was self-confidence, like basically being happy within yourself, like self-esteem, being yourself, taking risk, all that falls under the same category. So to build self-confidence, to love yourself, self-esteem, all of that, you want to be nice to yourself, you want to be kind to yourself. You want to do you all the time, like just do you, period. Like I say this all the time, nobody is perfect. Nobody in this world is perfect but the man above. You just have to remember everyone makes mistakes not nobody's perfect i never seen someone not make a mistake ever some people say oh i don't make mistakes i don't really get in trouble well you don't have to get in trouble to make a mistake you can make mistakes in any type of way and anywhere and you just want to do what makes you happy because if you're doing something that doesn't make you happy especially your own friends that's making you do something like if you don't have that self-confidence yourself to tell you like no i don't want to do that then you need it it is not easy to build self-confidence like my self-confidence kind of went up a little bit quick because i knew like how to love myself and how not to listen to people and how to stay to myself build self-esteem and all of that and sometimes it runs slower for people but i promise you your self-confidence will be up to the top
in no time. I'm just gonna let you know you're capable of doing anything and you wanna think positive, not negative, like the acceptance from your mind and your beliefs. So if you believe that you shouldn't be doing this, then you shouldn't be doing it. If you believe that you should be doing this, then you should be doing this, point blank. Okay, so the next topic is toxic friends, small circles, um, choosing wisely, like with your friend groups and all of that. This is like one of the topics I can really tell you about because I've been through so much with the little friend thing, choosing my friends, trusting my friends, and wanting to know if they're my real friends and all of that. I don't even think I have a circle, but some people's circles are small, literally small, and some people don't have no circle at all. I am a very independent young woman, but I do have some friends, but I wouldn't really say I'm in this circle. For toxic friends, you do not want to blame yourself for what they do because the toxic friend that's your friend, they probably going through some stuff. They're just out of their mind, to be honest. So just don't blame yourself for that. It's not your fault they're acting the way they're acting. And if you can't fix it, then dip. Yeah. This can go on for relationships as well though, but for friendships, we're talking about friendships though. Um, move on when you're ready to move on. Like, if you think you don't wanna be that person friend anymore, no you don't have to tell them you don't wanna be their friend. Like, just move, just move different. And just wait till they notice that you're moving different. And then they're gonna be like, um, you moving different. You're acting like you're not my friend anymore. No well, yeah, that's what I've been doing the whole time. Like, you have to wait till they notice that. So yeah, you don't have to tell somebody, oh, I'm not gonna be your friend anymore. No so it won't start a big occupation. Just move different, move silently. But if you really want to stay friends with the person, you really love this person, then consider ways to strengthen your relationship. Or if not, just try making some new friends. It's really not that hard. But you do want to make sure you keep your circle very small because me, I don't have a lot of friends. It's just that a lot of people know me. So it's kind of different, but everybody's trying to talk to me though. But you know what I mean? Just keep yourself small. You having a big friend group is going to cause more problems than it is to have a, like four or five friends. Uh, I'm going to tell you this, like from the jump, not everybody's going to support you. I also learned this from my class and also from Instagram and all that, from the coast and stuff. Not everybody's going to support you. You can support somebody, you can support your friend, but is your friend going to always support you back? No, they will not. Because the people, my friends, do not even support my YouTube channel. But they're good friends, but they just don't support what I do all the time. So it's kind of like, dang, are these really my friends though? Like, they're really good friends, but they just don't support me. You don't have to force your friends to support you, but I mean, they should anyways without you having to tell them to. But yeah, just choose the friends that you know you can trust. Okay, so the next topic is social media. There's not really a lot for me to speak about social media because everybody should really know um, the main things about social media. Um, Y'all should know the things about social media. Like, don't text people. Don't text random people that you don't know. Um, Have private accounts. My account is public for the reasons because I know a lot of y'all wants to follow me on Instagram and things like that um on instagram there is requests so if people that you don't necessarily follow texts you or whatever it goes to your request so i usually check that a couple times a week and if i don't know the person or they're sending stuff or telling me things that i'm not comfortable with it's called the block button so if you have some random person just do, trying to like scare you in some type of way block the person delete the request do all of that but I recommend like keeping your account private. If you're not like a public figure or something and you don't feel comfortable with your account like public, then make your account private. So simple. But yeah, because there's a lot of child predators out there that I know. And there's a lot of sugar daddies, not gonna lie. A lot of sugar daddies be texting. Well, they text mostly everyone, but I do not respond to those and I don't be believing those. So you can run me at my money though. <laughs> Nah, let me stop. But yeah, just block them, delete the messages and stuff like that. And make sure y'all careful because there's a lot of grown people out here behind the screens making it seem like they're a child when they're not. To tell you things and make you do things that you know you're not comfortable doing, but you do it anyways. So y'all, we gotta watch out for that and protect our kids. Yeah, y'all just be don't know what y'all doing sometimes. But yeah, the next thing on here is hygiene. I personally do not like to talk about hygiene and all that stuff because I just like y'all should know how to be clean already and there's like a hundred videos out there teaching you how to be clean which i should know how to be clean but i'm just talking about it anyways you should know how to be clean you already know the girly stuff y'all know y'all know y'all know yeah y'all should know the simple stuff basically but i'm gonna just tell you some of these things wear clean clothes do not wear dirty clothes obviously wash your body like everywhere from head to toe wash your face um wash your hands like 
after going in and out stuff or places. And yeah, just do it every day and you'll be good. And take showers, because I know some people that do not take showers. I'm telling you now, showers are like best thing to do twice a day. I recommend taking showers twice a day. Like I wake I, when I wake up for school, I take a shower in the morning and then as soon as I get back from school because you know about this coronavirus thing, I don't want to have all that germs on my bed or nowhere else in the house. So once I get home, I drop my book bag, drop off everything and head straight to the shower. So that's what I do. But on weekends, I sometimes take showers twice. But yeah, mainly twice I take showers. And yeah, use deodorant, use lotion, and you know, like things for your face and brush your teeth. Yeah, so y'all should really basically know all that already. Um, The last topic that I have from y'all suggestions is relationships, feeling like you're pressured to do something, peer pressure, and knowing your worth. So I haven't really personally been in a real relationship, but I still know like things about it and all that other stuff. And I've experienced like other people and I've seen it, yeah. It's crazy. But I feel like, especially like y'all right now, like my little preteens, my early teenagers, do y'all really need a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whatever you like? Do y'all really need one though? Especially now. Like y'all should know my age already. Well, if you know my age already, good for you. I personally do not want a boyfriend or none of that right now. Cause really I should be focused on school. I'm trying to get to high school. I'm trying to get all of that. I'm not saying relationships like distract you but most of the time it does and girls really be focusing on like how to make your boyfriend happy or your girlfriend happy or how to do this and that when that's really doesn't matter but i mean some people my age are in relationships and they last actually a bit long and they know how to like maintain relationships with other things but people on here don't worry about being in a relationship right now. Focus on your life. Pay attention to how you feel. And you want to also plan ahead. Like, if you want to be in a relationship, plan ahead. Like, what do you think? Do you really think you're going to last with this person? Um, What will y'all be able to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Those type of stuff. And for toxicness, just let him or her know that you feel some type of way and just tell them to stop. If they're forcing you to do something that you don't want to do, let them know to stop. And if they're still pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, then just let them know. If you're going to keep doing this, we cannot be together. Because I don't want this. Like, you have to let them know. Communicate. Like, a lot of your girls be scared. But if it works for me, I'm going to let you know. If you're going to stop or this is over. This is going to be done. I can't do it no more. If you're gonna keep doing this and this is a lot of reason why but yeah if you have a boyfriend or whatever and they're forcing you to do something just don't let them force you because if they're doing that most definitely leave before they start doing the harassment and the abuse thing and all that and there's a lot of girls that go through that in real life and it's sad why do y'all boys do this it's like really sad to hurt a female like y'all boys know y'all stronger than most girls so but like i said get out of it and also, if you cannot handle it by yourself, tell a close friend or something like that to help you get out of that stage because the toxic relationships, I hate using the word toxic, but the toxic relationships are no joke. Some girls like it, I don't know how, but most don't. But to know your worth and know how to know your worth, just do what makes you feel good. Don't do what doesn't make you comfortable or comfortable, whatever. Do not compare yourself. Now you also wanna know what's your strength and weaknesses because I think I know mine. I probably don't know all of mine, but I know some of mine. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, y'all, so that brings y'all to the end of this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little girl talk. We're not really little, cause this video probably gonna be a little bit long. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be a part of hashtag catbabies because we is lit right here and you most definitely do not want to sell. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace out.